put you on the game. Let me put you on the game. Stop messing with this list. And Chris Collins for the opening kickoff. Tom? With the dome protecting us from the elements, weather won't have an effect on this one today. I'm Tom Hammond. Chris Collinsworth is here. We're ready for the call. And I have to say, when we were watching these two teams in warm-ups, you can see they couldn't wait to get after each other, Chris. I tell you, this should be a good one. The fans are excited. The coaches are excited. Heck, I'm excited. Gostkowski will send this one deep. Here's the opening kick. It's fielded at the two. He's tackled at the 31. And now their offense will take the field for the first time in the game. They'll start this drive at the 31. The Colts line up with an offset eye backfield. Here's the give. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Hands it off. He makes his way to about the 38. So they give it to the fullback, and he's able to get him eight on the carry. Straight ahead with a fullback. Brought down around the 42-yard line. And it looks like he just barely got the first. Yeah, it's almost like he knew exactly where that first down marker was and just got it up for the first down. sees something and changes the play. There's a play fake. On the run, he throws it. Tackled at the 43-yard line. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. That run picked up a yard, maybe less. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. New England lines up with their dime defense. He drops back. Pass completed. He's dropped at the 36-yard line. And they'll crank up the no huddle. Out of the eye formation. Fullback straight ahead. And they get him at the 27 yard line. They've got it working on third down. But third down runs are really a statement about an offensive team. They're just saying that. I don't think we have to go to any trick plays. I don't think we have to do anything fancy. We're going to line up and let our guys beat your guys. Short throw to the left. What a shot! And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. Straight ahead with a fullback. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Second down, eight yards to go. This is the 10th play of the drive. Manning has completed every pass on this drive. And a nice pick up there. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Little handoff. 
He gets in for six. And boy, did he add a little extra emphasis to that touchdown. <laughs> How about that celebration? And they line up for the extra point. Here's the kick. Extra point is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. He kicks it off. He'll take it from the two. Drill at the 29-yard line. Being down a touchdown before you even walk onto the field is never the best position to be in on offense. Big drive now for the offense. The last thing in the world you can afford to have happen now is a three and out. You've already given up a touchdown, a three and out here, and you're in trouble. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. First and 10. The Patriots come out in a single back formation. They might be coming here. The Colts show blitz. Brady with the give. Down the sideline. And they finally knock him out at the 36. And he broke that one for a huge game. What a run that was. I really thought he might be gone there, but they were finally able to chase him down. Offense with first and ten once again after that big gain on the ground. They'll throw on first down. Makes the reception. He's tackled at the 31. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. Brady lines up under center. Single back formation this time. They'll give it off here. Tackled right around the 30-yard line. And the halfback has nowhere to go. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 31-yard line. Looking for a receiver. And they got him. It seems these days being a defensive end isn't just all about trying to run your blocker over to get to the quarterback. Yeah, you see more and more of these guys that are a little undersized for defensive linemen, but they make up for that size and bulk with great speed and agility. If they can turn the corner, they can really make a difference in a game. This is kind of a surprising call here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. And he's hammered at the 35. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. Indianapolis sets up in the eye. A dive on the run. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. A dive picks up two yards with the carry. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. They're going to pitch it. Brought down at the 40. We played a quarter. The score is 7-0. From their own 40-yard line. They line up in the I formation. They go with the run. And they get him at the 42. Got a couple, but will still be short of the mark. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. Throws on the run. 
tackle right around the 48-yard line. That was the perfect call to get them the fourth down conversion. And defensively, they have to be kicking themselves right now, giving up that first down. It looked like they had a stop, but here they face a fresh set of downs. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Manning looking to throw on first down. He's brought down at the 45. They hurry to the lines. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. They hand it off again. And he just got hammered. He barely got it past the line of scrimmage that time. And so it'll be third down. Gives it off. Brought down at the 39-yard line. Looks like he might have just gotten enough to convert for the first. I wasn't sure he had that one, but remember, it's not where the ball carrier is. It's where the ball is. That time the officials marked it just across the line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. A die is the single setback. First down, looking to throw. They get to him, and the blitz created tremendous pressure. Yeah, anytime you blitz, you're gambling. Essentially what you're saying is that I think my guys can get to the quarterback before my man coverage breaks down in the secondary. That time a great job executing the blitz, they got there. He's dropped right around the 26 yard line. Great pickup for the first on of that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. Manning lines up under center. Two tight ends in the formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play and the runner was stuffed. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. There's a play fake. They sacked him. That was a great time to call for the corner blitz. Anytime you blitz a corner, it's risky. You leave a receiver open. But so many times the quarterback is not expecting those corner blitzes so they're not really watching out there. And the offensive lineman, it's really easy to miss those guys too. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. If you're gonna try and stop a tight end from catching those types of balls, you have to get physical with him at the line of scrimmage. If you give him free releases, he's gonna wear you out. He drops back. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. Robinson was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. Setting up play action. The rush gets there, and he goes down. And the blitz worked to perfection on that one. Yeah, you could say that. They just did a terrible job picking up the blitz there. And now as a defense, if you see an offense that's really struggling trying to pick up the blitz, what happens? You send it more and more and more. If they don't stop the blitz, it is going to be a long afternoon. New England takes a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's fourth down, and the kick team on to try this 37-yard field goal. Kick is up. It's good. Nice work putting that one right through the upright. Vinatieri is just about ready to put his leg into this one. Kicks it off. He's hammered at the 30. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you, 
But this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. The offense will take over at the 30. First down, 10 to go. Maroney, the lone back. He fakes it. He throws it. And he should have had that one. What a play by the defenders. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Back to throw. Off his back foot. And he catches it. Inside the 30. To the 10. Makes a move and he's in. Touchdown. Beautiful run. When he turns it on, nobody's going to get him. Well, how do you defend this guy? Because if you try to get up on him, he simply runs by you with that great speed. If you play off of him, give him the ball in the open field, you see the results. Well, they will go for two here. New England finds up in the offset eye this time. They'll go for two in this situation. Ready. Blue 20. Brady back to throw. Short pass to his left. Can't get the two-point conversion. Decent kick. From the five-yard line. Hit and dropped at the 32-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. Nickel package on defense. Fullback straight ahead. He's dropped for a loss. He couldn't get back to the line on that run. And you don't see the fullback carrying the ball a lot in this league anymore. Maybe that's part of the reason why. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. I'm not sure who he was throwing it to on that last play. Yeah, even the wide receiver was looking around after that play and going, was that to me? The Colts changing their play at the line. He drops back. Throws off his back foot. And they get him at about the 37-yard line. They won't huddle here as they try to speed things up. Manning is lined up under center. They'll come up in an eye this time. The defense backs off on the cover. Hand off up the middle. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. And they'll try to speed things up a bit. From the 29-yard line. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. The kick is up. It's got the distance. Hits the crossbar and bounces out. No good. I thought he had a shot at that one, but the ball seemed to be working against him. He'll need to just put that miss out of his head and concentrate on the next time he gets a shot. So the score will remain the Colts 10, the Patriots 6. The New Patriots England, will take the their box. second time out of the half. Make sure you utilize swing passes and routes into the flat. Passes to the running backs are a very high percentage, and you can use them as an outlet if your primary receivers are covered downfield. They'll throw on first down. 
in and out of his hands. And as we head to halftime, the score is 10-6. It looks like we're just about ready for the second half kickoff. The kick is away. He'll return it from the three. At the 30. Hit and dropped at the 40. He got a really nice return on that one. Amazing job. The return team really set up the blocks beautifully and gave him lots of room to run. They'll start at the 40, first and 10. Maroney is the single setback. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. They caught the defense out of position on that run. And this defense may be a little susceptible to that kind of a thing. They're so aggressive running to the football. That time they flowed downhill, got caught on the counter, lucky to contain that one for what it was. New England goes with the ace set here. He gets another carry. And they get him around the 43-yard line. Maroney gains about five yards on the run. Second down and five to go. They line up in an eye. And they'll run him again. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Maroney picks up a yard on the play. Third and four, ball on the 42. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Ready, blue 20. Back to throw. He rolls left. Scrambles for yardage. He's dropped around the 33-yard line. Looks like the containment just broke down on that one, and they end up giving up the first. Defense is all about gap control. All you have to do is maintain your one gap. If one guy blows it, you can give up a big play like that. Big set this time with two tight ends. Scans the field. Tackled around the 15-yard line. Tom Brady has proven to be one of the most productive quarterbacks in the league and in league history. Sure, you've got some other guys in the league that you can argue maybe this guy's better, that guy's better. But when you look at this guy's career, he is clearly one of the best ever. Brady gives it left. Brought down at the nine. Six yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Get the ball to the open man. You can't give him an easy pick. Less than 10 yards away from a score now. They'll bring in the dime looking for the pass. They hand it off again. And he's de at the five-yard line. Maroney picks up about four yards on the play. Third down and short now. Five yards to the goal line. I don't think there's any question as to how this offense wants to pick up this first down. He's brought down at the three. Another third down conversion. This time they go to the ground to convert their second third down on this drive. And right now you can just begin to feel this offense's confidence grow. They are set up inside the five. Three yards for the touchdown. Brady set to go to the air. Short throw to the right. Can't complete it. 
Jackson's that pass was simply uncatchable. I know you want to be cautious in the red zone, but that was a little too cautious. You have to give your receiver a chance. Three yards for the score now. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. He'll get it again. And they get him around the three-yard line. That run picked up a yard, maybe less. That'll bring up third down. You're almost there. Now finish it off and get in the end zone. The defense trying to hang on here. It's third and goal from the three. And he scores. What a play. Good call there. They just bulldoze in for the score. Well, there you have the first play that everybody puts in in their playbook. As simple as that. Just the quarterback keeps the ball and crams it in. Big job that time by the offensive line. I guess the coach doesn't want to settle for a three-point lead as they'll go for two to make it a four-point game. And he's in for two. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. He kicks it. He'll return it from the six. He's hammered at the 34. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sport. If it's in the game, it's in the game. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. One yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. And they'll run him again. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. That'll keep the chains moving. Well, it doesn't look like the offensive coordinator is expending a lot of brain cells out there. If it works once, why not try it again? It's first and ten. They'll come out in the eye. Brought down behind the line. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. And that's the end of the third quarter. Score is 14-10. Second and 11. Ball on the 44-yard line. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. He didn't get his feet set as he threw. And you won't see the coaching staff complaining about that. Yeah, coaching staffs generally don't complain about too much when they have a quarterback that has the leadership qualities and the arm strength and the ability that this guy has. 
tackled at the 44-yard line. It wasn't a big gain, but it got them enough to convert. Yeah, the defense really played that one pretty well, but anytime you get in those short yardage situations, you can't allow that ball carrier to fall forward. If he does, typically you pick up the first down. Fakes to the back. And it's completed. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. New England moves in tight on the coverage. Hand off to the fullback. He's dropped around the 21-yard line. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. From the 21-yard line, the defense comes up tight on the coverage. Setting up play action. Makes the catch. They finally bring him down, and it's first and goal. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Everybody knows about this guy's arm strength, and if you wanted to see an example of it, right there it was. Likely four down territory here on first and goal. A field goal won't do them any good. They'll need to find the end zone on this drive. Robinson on the carry. And they were not able to get much there. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. Well, when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Second down, goal to go. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Manning is looking to stay perfect on this drive. He's tackled at the five. It looks like they're going to go no huddle. They're crowding the line. Play fake. Defense closing in. It came loose. And they were lucky to fall on that one. The defense was closing in to scoop it up. You have to protect the ball. It's really just as simple as that. You cannot have turnovers and expect to be successful in a game like this. Indianapolis calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. So the offense will face a fourth down situation now. They'll need eight for the score. Makes the run. Goes for the end zone. Tight coverage and it's picked off. Talk about a huge play by the defense there. And they may have just blown their best opportunity to win this game. The ball is in the quarterback's hands and that interception was just, just awful.
First and 10, ball on their own 20. They come out with a big set. He is hit hard on the play. I'd say he got one or two feet on that drive. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Brady calls an audible. Maroney left side. Got him down at the 43. He just made this defense look really bad. And you can see a defense when they get gouged for a big run like that, they all start looking around and thinking, whose gap was that? Who gave up that big a hole? Offense with a first and 10 following the big run. Gives it up the gut. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and dropped. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, uh, a little help, please. Second and 11. Ball on the 44. They're packed in tight on the line. They hand it off. Hit and drop behind the line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. I don't think the defense was fooled on that one. <laughs> it was like they were sitting back in the huddle listening in. That brings up third and 13. Ball on the 46. New England will line up in a jumbo set here. Hands it to the back. He's brought down at the 43-yard line. And this was a good one. Our final score is the Patriots 14, the Colts 10. I'll tell you, I enjoyed watching this one. Both teams played hard. Here are a few key moments in this one. This concludes another game of Madden NFL 2009. From all of us here, thanks again for being part of this game.